Hey everyone, today we're going to do a little bit of a convention recap. If you weren't able to attend live the Evolve uh, doTERRA convention or haven't had the chance to listen to the whole convention online, I'm going to do a less than one hour recap so at least you can know about the brand new products and some of the new initiatives that doTERRA is planning to launch and has already launched. So we got a lot of new information at the convention and I'm sure this year or I, this year was no different than any other year. Every year, it's just an amazing group of people who present, who tell us all about new things, and the new products are astounding. I haven't gotten my convention kit yet, but I know I'm going to have it soon. So I'm going to be talking to you from the slides. I don't have samples yet, but I will have them soon. <laughs> When we talk about the convention, we talk about all new products. And we also talk about things like what are the initiatives, where, what's the direction that doTERRA is going in. And this year, like no other, we've got some brand new products and we also got a wonderful set of directions, a roadmap, if you will, for everything that's going to be happening in doTERRA. Before we continue, please be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notifications on all our new videos. In addition, follow us on Instagram. Thanks so much for your support. So first things first, let's take a look at this amazing slide. We've actually got 16 new things that were released at convention. Only one of them was a limited time offer only for convention participants. I'm sorry, but it's in the picture. So I wanted to make sure that you could take a look at it from left to right. And I'm going by the numbers. Number one are laundry pods, dishwasher pods, liquid dish soap, Tulsi holy basil, Madagascar Vanilla, Huga, Osmanthus Roll-On, Body Oil, Sensitive Skin Oil, Copaiba Roll-On, Unguard Chewable Tabs, Hand Lotion Refill, which is now in Citrus Bloom, Foaming Hand Wash Refill, Abode Surface Cleaner Concentrate, and Abode Essential Oil. 16 new items we got in our convention kit. In addition to those new items, we were able to purchase a set of bottles, uh, brand new glass bottles with that lovely apothecary look. One of the things that I love about doTERRA is that they always listening to us. I've been, I don't want to say complaining, but murmuring for a long time that the bottles that we had were just not too beautiful. And if you had them on your kitchen counter or in your bathroom, they didn't entice anybody to say, wow, what's that? I want to buy that. Or where'd you get that? So now, totally different. You've got your four bottles that you can be using and displaying all the time. So from left to right, you've got our hand wash, then we've got our hand lotion, our dish soap. So you've got all those things that you can be putting right next to your sink. And finally, we've got our surface spray. What I love about these bottles is that they are glass. They're nice, heavy. They have a nice, heavy feel to them. The sprayers and the pumps work beautifully. And yes, even though the hand wash has that skinny little spout, it still foams. So when I first saw it, I thought, oh, we lost the foam. We did not lose the foam. So don't despair. And to the left hand side of this particular photo, you can see that we've come out with some new cleaning products and I'm going to talk a lot about those later. But in the on the left hand side of the screen, you can see our dishwasher pods and our laundry pods totally new in our brand new abode scents. And I want to talk to you first about the abode scent and then we're going to talk to you about some of these um, newer products that we're talking about. So number one, our abode scent. Our abode scent is um, a, a plant-based, of course, but includes things like lime, litsea, cassia, lemon, eucalyptus, tea tree, arborvitae, uh, uh, eucalyptus, cilantro, lavandin, and lemon myrtle. It has some powerful synergistic effects. It also has some um, cleansing properties specifically for surfaces, and it was designed to disinfect and keep your home clean. One of the things that I love about doTERRA is they're always listening to us. So our um, uh, 
um, our on guard line, our on guard family, if you will, includes many products for cleaning, including our concentrated cleaner and our laundry detergent. What this allows us to do is to introduce a new scent that's going to help us to keep our whole environment clean, our whole abode really clean. When I first smelled it, to me, now I've heard many people say that the first thing they smell is the cassia. I didn't smell the cassia first. I smelled the lime. And then the second thing I smelled was the arborvitae. Now, I'm not generally an arborvitae fan, but I have to say that the, the juxtaposition of the lime and the arborvitae, so that woody versus the citrusy, to me was very powerful and very enticing. It smells super clean. I really like the way it smells, and I think you will too. Now, here's the interesting thing. I know many of you are going to want to use this product on a regular basis, not just to clean your houses, because I know all of you really well. You're going to want to use this product on your body. So if you are going to try it on your body, and I imagine that you may, but let me not say anything. You must, must, must dilute, dilute, dilute. Why is that? Because it's got some really hot oils in there, folks. We've got our arborvitae. We've got our cassia in there. Even our lemon myrtle sometimes can be a little bit warm on the skin. So make sure that you you are, um, if you're going to diffuse it, use a water diffuser. And number two is if you're going to try and try and use it on your body for, I don't know, disinfecting, or you just want to smell, how does it smell on the skin? Make sure you dilute, dilute, dilute with fractionated coconut oil. Okay, now let's talk about some of the products that are going to be available um, using the Abode Blend. Let's go to those dishwasher pods first. They are formulated with the Abode Blend, as I mentioned before. They have natural enzymes in there for plant powered cleaning. Now, many of us use dishwasher pods already in our dishwasher. Most of them, at least the ones that I've seen for the most part, are filled with chemicals and dyes. There's also been many reports of people, children specifically, and pets picking them up and thinking they're edible and trying to chew on them. Oh, dear me. Now, there are some natural pods available on the market, but they tend to be Number one is they're not doTERRA, but they also tend to be fairly expensive. And what I love about the doTERRA pods is that you get a package of 24 pods, which should, if you're using a dishwasher about once a day, last you almost one month. I will give you one recommendation though, you wanna rinse your dishes. In general, you wanna rinse your dishes, right? Now, many of the artificially um, made pods contain these very harsh chemicals that will take off just about any kind of gunk from your dishes. When you're using a more natural pod, you may have to actually rinse it down the drain. But here's, your, here's the two healthy points that I wanna remind you of. Number one is when you're using the natural dishwasher pods, the water that's going out of your dishwasher and either into your septic tank, if you have a septic tank, or back out into your water filtration plant, wherever that may be, in your city or your town, it's going to be less toxic and less hot, harmful for you and for your neighbors in the future. So keep that in mind when you're thinking of using dishwasher pods. Is it worth it for me to protect the environment and keep things clean and things clean for my family? Because we realize that when we use the artificial kinds of pods, the residue that's left on the plates is eventually going into our food which is not a really great thing. When we say that it's gray water safe, that means that the water that's ejected from the dishwasher is going to be safer for the environment than anything that, had, that would be usually ejected in um, using a traditional dishwasher pod. So keep it in mind, rinse your dishes, but I think you're really gonna like them. Let's now talk a little bit about the packaging. They come in a relatively small pouch and you're going to be able to, um, that pouch is made with post-consumer recycled materials. And each pod is encapsulated in a biodegradable film, which will dissolve perfectly in your dishwasher. I love these new pods. I love the concept of them. And if you're thinking of sharing doTERRA, this is an easy way for you to share doTERRA with people that you know. Let's now talk about the hand lotion. Whoops, I made that go a little bit too fast. Let's now talk about the hand lotion, um, scented with citrus plume. Now, we did have a hand lotion, citrus plume hand lotion, came out originally, I think, Mother's Day two years ago, and then again one more time this past spring. One of the concerns that many people had was A, the packaging, and B, that it didn't quite smell enough like citrus plume. It was just very mild, maybe even a little too mild. So now not only do we have brand new packaging, so you're gonna be taking that pouch 
uh, removing the twist cap and then pouring it into your hand lotion bottle, the great thing is that we've added more, doTERRA has added more citrus bloom into the blend. So that lotion is really going to smell rich and luxurious like your citrus bloom essential oil. The refillable pouch is going to reduce shipping costs and um, increase transportation efficiency. So when you're shipping out something to a customer, a client, a friend, uh, your mom, you can make sure that you're shipping out something that's just less, less wasteful. I think the message, one of the biggest takeaways from the doTERRA convention was let's waste less. We want to make sure that we're not harming the environment. We're a natural products company, right folks? So we want to make sure that we are using less less products or less materials that will go into our, that are not recycled, or they're just going to go into our waste dumps, right? The lightweight formula is um, formulated without silicone, silicones that can be very harmful for our skin. It's also a non-greasy formula. If you know our unscented hand lotion, it is very rich and emollient, but can really stay on the skin for a long time. This is gonna be a quick lotion. You can put it anywhere in your house. I'm gonna be putting mine into my powder room right on the first floor with the pump hand soap. I can't wait to um, put it all out and set it on up. I'm really excited. The moisturizing formula includes shea butter, beetroot extract and coconut oil and Tasmanian pepper extract to help soothe the skin. Looking forward to it. I'm sure it's going to be delightful when it arrives and I can't wait to see those bottles in person. Let me know if you're interested in hearing about any of these in more detail. I'll be doing some videos over the next few days. Okay, now let's talk about our hand wash. So what's the, another message that's coming out of doTERRA is these hand lotions and hand washes are a great new category for us. And that little by little, we're going to see them with different sorts of scents. Now, for me, that means that maybe in the fall we'll hear, we'll feel some, we'll see something like harvest spice, or maybe at Christmas time we'll see a holiday joy. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so many different blends and things that we might be able to do, including uh, foaming hand washes and soaps that we do on, uh, or hand lotions that we mix on our own. Wouldn't that be a really cool thing? But needless to say, doTERRA is listening, listening, listening. So that foaming hand wash that you see in the picture, yes, that is a foaming, still foaming, even though it has that skinny spurt, squirter thing. Yep, it's still a foaming hand wash. It now comes in a, an aluminum concentrate, an aluminum bottle that is a concentrate. So you're gonna add part of the concentrate to your new bottle and then add water. So there's gonna be a lot less waste. The hand wash that we had previously, you just took the concentrate, poured it in the bottle, and that was the end. You had to dish the bottle or recycle it. So now you're gonna have these aluminum bottles that are easily recyclable with all of your cans. So easy to recycle using a concentrate, and where the concentrate is um, eight fluid ounces or 237 milliliters, you're going to have the opportunity to just really stretch out that hand wash, as, uh, hand wash as long as you need to. For now, it's in the Citrus Bloom Springtime Blend. Gentle on the hands, uh, thanks to plant-derived surfactants, and includes apple and banana extracts to soothe and moisturize skin. Now, I have heard of banana peels being really moisturized. I personally have never rubbed a banana peel on my face or anywhere else on my body, but hey, if it works and we can include the extracts in our um, moisturizing um, blends and some of our products, why not? The, it is a non-drying formula, which I think everybody's going to love. And as we go into the fall, and right now it's almost fall here in the United States, we want things that are going to moisturize, moisturize, moisturize our skin. Let's talk about those laundry pods. They are um, kind of the one-two punch, if you will, that doTERRA is uh, offering for abode. Laundry pods are like, just like dishwasher pods, they tend to be extremely toxic. They settle on your clothes and stay there. They are um, usually not recyclable and they just really are dangerous. They're dangerous for our kids, for our pets. We don't want anybody getting in there. Our laundry, these laundry pods are gonna come in a nice small pouch and you're gonna get 30 in the pouch, which is, um, 
Is that true? No, nope, sorry, 45 in this. Um, I will mention that if you have a medium to light load, so a regular load of wash, and it's not specifically or particularly dirty, then one pod should be sufficient. If, however, you and your family have all been out on a hiking trip and you come back and you're dirty and kind of sweaty and smelly, or you're doing a big load of uh, exercise clothes for your family, throw two pods in it, you may definitely need that. If you're doing a heavier load or something that really requires a lot of cleaning. In the meantime, one per load, and that should last you about one month. The pods include natural enzymes for plant-powered cleaning, again, encapsulated in that biodegradable film. Um, the packaging is made with post-consumer recyclable materials, and bio-based salts are in the product to help lift up dirt. Again, I'm really excited about this. Also easy to use, right? I can easily send these to my college age kids, kids, and they can be using them in their washer once they get to school. They don't have to get that giant, I won't even use the brand, but you know what I'm talking about, it comes in that big plastic container, not good for us. We've had, interestingly enough, fractionated coconut oil on the hit parade for a long, long time. It is a wonderful blending oil. It works uh, specifically well with all of our essential oils. Terrific for body massage. However, there's always room for improvement and we wanted and needed to expand that line. And we have done it now. Number one is we're going to have a body and sensitive skin carrier oil. So the new body oil for some people don't want prefer not to use coconut oil, includes passion fruit, jojoba, baobab, moringa, taco ferals, and sunflower seed oil. So you're going to be able to get a massage with that new oil, 115 milliliters, or the sensitive skin oil. One of the biggest concerns that I've heard from many people is they didn't like pu putting the fractionated coconut oil on their face because the cosmogenic effects were just a little bit too strong for, me, for them. They're, um, they preferred a lighter oil. So that louder, louder, that lighter oil now exists. It includes grape seed, rose hip, hemp, taco ferals, and sunflower seed oil, again, for a nice, light, sensitive skin oil. I'm going to be blending it into some of the oils that I use on my face, and I want to see that it has a nice, light effect. Also, if you are a person who's prone, perhaps, to breakouts, or you just have very sensitive skin in general over the rest of your body, this is going to be the oil for you. And you can also see that the carrier, the sensitive skin carrier oil comes with a dropper top, so really good um, um, uh, change for that. And there's just to get a sense of how big it is. And there's a, a lady exactly using it on her face. Okay, this, I'm going to talk about this oil. It was available in the kit. Some of you got the kit. Some of you do not, did not get it. It is not going to be for sale, but it was in the kit. So just in case, Osmanthus Touch. You've heard about Osmanthus before. It's been in some of our blends. It is kind of a heady floral I am in love with this essential oil. And if you got a kit, it's going to be in your kit. So take a look, guard it safely because you're not going to get another one, at least for now. It is so it's soothing and hydrating to the skin. It helps maintain good looking skin. I have to say, it smells like just an amazing flower. I'm going to be using it as a pure fume, a perfume, if you will. It comes from the same botanical family as jasmine and lilac, both of which are my absolute favorite flowers. So this is not no different for me. It's sourced in China. It has a comforting, sweet aroma. It is not available for sale, but if you got it in your kit, use it up. It's going to be a great one. Um, here's a lady who's using her osmanthus. And now we've got some great um, new products on the On Guard lineup. Now, you know in the On Guard family, we've got oil, we've got beadlets, we've got soft gels, we've got lozenges, we've got all different sorts of products. This is a new product in the lineup that I think you're really gonna love. It's made to support your immune system, especially when it's under threats, which I would say would be everybody and right now. You don't have to use this product every day, but you definitely wanna use it if you're feeling a little bit under the weather. It contains vitamin C, vitamin D, 
zinc and beta-glucan, all of which are wonderful to support our immune system. Vitamin C, D, and zinc, as you know, have been recommended in the news again and again to support our immune system, especially during this very troubling time that we're living through. Beta-glucans are one of those items that are kind of a, a new um, a newer ingredient that you might not have heard as much about, but the four, uh, four new ingredients uh, in addition to our On Guard blend are going to be an easy way for you to support yourself and your family. And these are chewable tablets. So they're going to be one step up, if you will, from the beadlet and it's kind of sitting in the middle between the beadlet and the soft gel. So you, if you're under any sort of threat, you're going to take three, up to three tablets a day, basically morning, noon, and night. And if you just want to a little bit of a boost, you can chew one throughout the day. They um, are easy to consume on the go. They're uh, good, sugar-free, and vegan-friendly. Don't we love that? doTERRA's always listening to us. They're just, they really are the best. So I can't wait to get my hands on these and to taste them and see what they're like. So let's hear a little bit more about the uh, chewable tablet. Um, they, vitamin C for boosting the immune system, vitamin D, to support the nervous system, also the brain and the immune system, beta-glucan to um, prime and maintain the immune system, and finally zinc uh, for its antioxidant properties. The tablet actually is pretty small. It looks giant size on the screen, but it's really not. It's about the size, um, I'm gonna say it's smaller than a US dime, but about that size. If you've ever seen the US coin, the dime, that's about the size of it. Okay. What's up next? Madagascar vanilla. Well, did you know that vanilla was the number one requested essential oil across the board from doTERRA? Who knew? Now, I have to say, I had never really been a vanilla type of person. I know everybody is a vanilla person, except for me. Um, it's not my favorite, but I have to say, this smell is a Astonishing. It is rich. It has depth. It will be a fabulous addition to everything that you do. And there's actually an ebook available, which we're going to post below. So if you haven't had a chance yet to see it, and we're also going to be posting each one of those recipes as reels on our Instagram page. So stay tuned. We've got lots of vanilla, vanilla, vanilla recipes as we coast into fall. I think it's going to be a wonderful warm addition to all of our blends. Um, you're going to be using it in your diffusers again and again, because honestly, that was the missing ingredient in may, many of our pumpkin spice and chai and apple pie blends, right? We needed that vanilla essential oil. And so now we have it. So here's a couple of factoids, if you will, about our vanilla essential oil. It is pure, it is a pure absolute, but it is, and it is edible. Super cool. 80% of real vanilla comes from Madagascar. A lot of what we see in stores is actually synthetic. So this is a good, good, it's good. I'm really glad we have it, right? It is the most requested oil, I didn't know that, and the second most expensive crop in the world. We will be supporting local harvesters. If you've ever seen a vanilla plant, you know that it is kind of a long green, almost like a very long string bean in its natural state, the flowers are pollinated by hand. And then as it dries, it kind of dries out and becomes brown. The inside of the pod contains these tiny little seeds and those are the seeds that give the scent and the flavor to everything that we eat and just divine. This is a divine product and I think you're really gonna like it. Stay tuned for more information. I think you're gonna really enjoy um, using the vanilla, incorporating it into your recipes and also into your diffuser blends. And of course you can use it topically if you're one of these people who loves that kind of heady vanilla scent as a perfume. Let's talk about Huga. Huga is sort of an interesting thing. We got a bottle of Huga in our in our convention kit, or we're going to be getting the Huga in the convention kit. Brand new blend, it con contains wild orange, cedarwood, amorous, frankincense, myrrh, cystis, vetiver, tonka bean, and vanilla. And speaking of tonka bean, it is going to be added, that particular ingredient is going to be added into our holiday joy. So when you smell your holiday joy again this year, it's gonna be slightly different. We're adding tonka bean, giving it a more rich, more rounded um, aroma. A lot of people love holiday joy. I think you're gonna love it with the addition of tonka bean. 
Huga and the Huga Diffuser are going to be available for a limited time starting on October 1st. So if you're watching this before October 1st, get ready. It's going to be available soon, but it is a limited time offer. So really hop on it the minute it becomes available because I positive that this is going to sell out really fast. The diffuser in the, pic in the picture is actually cement on the bottom and glass on the top. Now, I haven't bought a lot of doTERRA diffusers recently, but I am going to be buying this one. I love the cement and glass look, very natural, very sort of zen, if you will. And I think the hookah blend is going to be a wonderful addition to our, to our lineup. It is not supposed to be a, um, an edible blend. We are using it topically or in our diffusers. If you do use it topically, make sure that you are, again, diffusing, diffusing, diffusing. But that cozy scent going into the holidays, we've got everything from, I don't know, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. We've got the Harvest Festival starting actually to, in the next few days in Asia. And then we have Chinese New Year, New Year's Eve. We've got a lot of cozy family get-together type of events. I'm praying that wherever you are, you're going to be able to celebrate with your family and friends. Um, we've got, now here's showing the Huga blend with one of our original diffusers. We still have these diffusers available if you're interested. If you don't have a diffuser, you really need one. It's one of the quickest and easiest ways to clean your interior air, to keep your environment smelling just clean and fresh. I'm diffusing actually right now. I put together a little bit of the Harvest Spice, which is a blend that came along about a year ago. But the minute I have my, my um, vanilla, I'm gonna be blending my vanilla with my Harvest Spice so that I can get that one-two punch and make sort of like pumpkin spice latte. I can't wait. Okay, new on Hip Parade and really exciting. Deep Blue Stick with Coat by Eba. Who would have thought? Now we have a breed stick and you've seen that before. This is gonna be a little bit larger in size and a little bit denser, more like a stick deodorant, round if you will. But the addition to, of Copaiba to the Deep Blue Blend, I think is gonna make it a lot more effective. The other thing that I love about the Deep Blue Stick is that you're not going to have to touch it with your hands, which is one of the concerns that many people, including athletes had. So if you went to a sporting event and all of a sudden you had an ache or pain, and you strained something, you wanna be able to apply the Deep Blue Stick, you had to, or Deep Blue, you had to touch it, right? I mean, unless you had the roll-on, and right now the roll-on is not available, you had to touch the stick and then what would happen you'd have it on your hand and then if you were going to go play a sport you get it on your racket or your basketball or whatever else you were doing maybe if you're running I guess but even so would you necessarily want to have it in your hand doTERRA heard everyone's concerned and that's why we have our deep blue stick the other thing is it's a wonderful delivery system for anybody who wants to just pop it in a gym, a gym bag you can see that the stick itself is white um, it's about two ounces. I think it's 1.69 ounces, 48 grams. So it's got plenty in there. You're going to get lots of use out of it. Um, it is terrific for the temporary relief of minor aches and pains from arthritis, sprains, strains, bruises, whatever you're, you're feeling. It is an over-the-counter topical analgesic. So this is the move that doTERRA is making, moving us into that pharmaceutical grade products so that we can begin to make testimonials that say, yes, this is a product that is an over-the-counter use. And that's where we are um, hmm, listing, if you will. Yeah promoting our products, but also listing them, making sure that they qualify for over-the-counter use. Super important as we go into our next 10 years, if you will, for doTERRA. Um, including uh, the blend, as I mentioned, includes Copaiba for increased absorption, mess-free format, right? And free of silicones, phenol, uh, phenol oxyethanol, PEGs, and retinol, retinol palmonate, which are many of the ingredients that are in some of our traditional anti-ache and pain blends, uh, packaged in post-consumer recycled material, so you don't have to worry. We've already picked up the plastic from that somebody else has used, and it's made with CPTG Deep Blue Soothing Blend and is all natural. So if you have friends that are using things that are not natural and getting kind of burns or 
discomfort on their skin, encourage them to use the Copaiba stick formula. Okay, we are done for, the, for this particular day. The cool thing about this is we will be back again next week talking about fall essentials. You can follow on Instagram. We're going, I'm going to be featuring each and every one of these products and also some of the new concepts, two brand new things that we heard about over convention. One is that lavender is now classified in as a pharmaceutical grade product. Pharmaceutical grade, super important. It is the only product in doTERRA that's considered pharmaceutical grade, but doTERRA is going to continue to apply to get this pharmaceutical grade designation for as many of our products as possible, singles and blends. So that's really important. Number two is we heard that the peppermint soft gels are going to be listed in the physician's desk reference. So that's that giant book that many physicians use to find um, important information and to find drugs or other um, compounds that they need to be able to put together a really good care plan for any one of their patients. So if you follow on Instagram, you're going to be finding out all this information and more over the days and weeks ahead. Super excited. We're going to be coming out with reels. We've got some just really cool things going on and I can't wait actually to share some of them with you. Um, I think actually that's, ah, and last but not least, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel. You can click below to subscribe and then ring the bell to get notifications each and every time we have a new presentation. And we're on here just about every week. Um, so we're on here every week with a new in-depth look at doTERRA and doTERRA essential oils, and then some quick looks on our Instagram account and on reels, on our stories, and also um, check us out on TikTok because we're on there too, posting almost every single day about different things that we're up to and what doTERRA is up to and the new things that we're super excited about. Thank you so much for having been here. You are amazing. You're an amazing audience. I'm so thrilled to be with you each and every week. And thank you, thank you um, for joining us and for being part of this giant loving community. And we want to just reach out and hug all of you if we could. Have a wonderful week, everyone. And we'll see you all real soon. Bye-bye now.